All right, good morning, my YouTube viewers. How you doing this morning? CB31 NYC. It's about a little after 5 in the morning. Let's see what's hump jumping on the band wave. Oh, welcome to 2015. We're going to call this uh, the repeat hour. You know, in the morning rush hour, it's called the repeat hour. It's the same thing over and over every day. Hey, yo, Snake, it ain't escape from New York, it's escape from Richie. All right, can't hear me in Levittown, barefoot, huh? Hey, yo, Snake, it ain't escape from New York. It's the escape from what's that?
Crazy fag me shag me Eddie on the radio.
I knew Jeremiah was dirty, but not that dirty, Crazy Eddie. Thank you. and junkie free till a second ago. Somebody better than this to do your dirt, dude. Away from 35 Chestnut Lane in Levittown? I doubt it. Hey, Rich, you know I love you, brother. You know, if I didn't care about your brother, I wouldn't be trying to help you. So don't be hating. Don't hate the player, brother. Hate the game. First, he's got to have game. <laughs> I don't know, you come out here crying worse than bird, man. We hear it in your voice. You're a little chicken shit. You shake and quiver with every lie. How's that brother talk to me, Mr. Birdman? I hear Richie out there trying to take
He lives in an apartment building. Richie sure is the king of New York to have three men every morning sucking his dick like this. He's such a good Samaritan, ain't he? If you're willing to take a piss test, brother, in front of the camera, and any drugs, any drugs, illegal substance in your urine, you fail, brother. I don't want to hear, oh, I got some marijuana, in my, I don't want to hear that, brother. If you got weed in your, in your shit, you're condemned, brother. You fail the test. And that's it, brother, because dirty is dirty. I don't want to hear I'm a little dirty, I'm somewhat dirty. Dirty is dirty, brother. Remember that. You'll never find drugs or anything in the enforcer's piss. With that, they know who it is, the enforcer, truth and justice, the American way. Let me have my job, bro. I'll be back, brothers. Hold on, let me get this straight. You're out here calling Richie a coke and dope fiend junkie every morning, but now you want to see a piss test to see if he is? Ain't that a bitch? Well, Michael J. Pearson, Pearman, there is no wisdom in any man that sucks the next man's dick and gets on the radio every morning just so his buddy can feed him cocaine to fuck with Richie. Believe me, you and Birdman are a joke. Anybody that goes to my favorite section and finds the video with the big green frog icon can tell you what you and Birdman are about right away. Oh, and I got down. That's not 
is such a pussy. sound like a big dick sucking follower to me, Mr. Michael J. P. Emmons. And first, we gotta find somebody who's seen Richie smoke crack or can prove Richie's any kind of junkie. Get him all. Well, you got quite a few people that been into your crib, brother. You got a lot of dollar van customers. You got other customers who I'm not gonna include. You see the difference with me, brother? All the information I hold in the, in the, I keep in the back burner, you know what I mean? You put out information out there that has not been confirmed, has not been verified. But what I got in front of me is a rap sheet of you breaking into cars, stealing car stereos, kid stealing UPS, uh, GPS, uh, when I say UPS, GPS units and other valuable possessions that people work hard all day for. But it's all good. Don't listen to me. Just look at the rap sheet I got in front of me. Don't listen to me. Just look at the color photographs, five by sevens of you. Token away. Oh, brother. Look at these photos. Man. I'm looking at this. You know, you know what's really despicable, Richie? When you live in a crib and you have no toilet seat, man. I mean, you could go to some of the nastiest public bathrooms in the city. Watch this. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, brother. Where you live now, currently, do you have a toilet seat? Because I'll buy you one. When I bring you over a radio and a new, a new antenna after we make this deal, I'm even bring a brand new toilet seat, Richard. Do you have a toilet seat or do you fling your doo-doo out the window like some countries, some third world nation, they just sh shoot their poop out the window? Do you do that, Richard? Well, Mr. Michael J. P. and you'll have to contact 194 Utica Avenue, LLC, that rented me that apartment there, and uh, ask them if they furnished any toilet seat with that crib or any bathroom light. But anyway, Mr. Michael J. P. Emin, I don't know, man. I, I think I moved out of that place about nine months ago, sir. So you got to get your facts straight. And Pix's, Pix's rap sheet, that rap sheet you're holding looks like Michael J. P. Emin, not Richard V. Capuano. Oh, look at him. Look at him trying to cover up my transmission. Look at that shit, little punk bitch. Michael J. Pierman. When I said you have no toilet seat, I don't mean any offense by it, brother. But I'm not the one that posts my private information on YouTube video. You do. Your problem is you post videos about yourself, who you are, what you are, what you've done. And then you deny it all. Where's the proof? It's all on video, brother. You put it out there. You have, vid you have voice clips saying that you love big black men, they sleep it in your bed. You got audio clips saying you go to the village with guys, you, you, you chase guys around the village with their pricks sticking out of their waistband. Who, who the fuck looks for guys with their pricks sticking out of their fucking, out of their waistband, out of their jeans? Only a homosexual will do that. Then you talk about other people. Richard, not only are you a nasty man, you're a homosexual that needs to... You need redemption, brother. I'm gonna put my hand on your head right now. Right now your head is shaking and smoking because those demons wanna come out. Forgive that crackhead. Oh yeah, hallelujah, feed it. Feed it, take the, the demons out of that boy. Rich your radio, I pray for you, brother. Cause I know right now your head is smoking. It's turning around like, like Linda Blair on The Exorcist 360, brother. Put it down, put that pipe down, brother. Let those demons be free of Richie 127. With that, the enforcer, better known as the man of truth and justice, the American way. I'll be back, brothers. I gotta get another cup of java. I'll be back.
Michael J. Pierman, we can't wait to see your photographs, your rap sheet, whatever you're going to put up on YouTube, sir. And by the way, I don't have any sound clips out there. I have videos. When you hear sound clips or parcel sentences, that's Cupcake, Bad Girl, and Bird Girl. I'm Claire. Oh, shit. Look, we got nine dumb dumb down here today, too. What a hell of a video, Gate. CB19NYC for all the visitor drivers on YouTube that want to keep up with the real deal. I got that all. You got the bobcat here. You got the bobcat here. You got the bobcat here. I got there. You got a junkie in Brooklyn. Uh, uh. Hey, Crazy Eddie, you know all the, all, all the junkies we know are in Levittown, Long Island, dude. Me and my soldiers, we sit back and wait and let y'all throw off all your smoke bombs. You'll never get real. Hey, Richie, if there's one thing I do want to ask from you is be a man and do you, brother. Stop getting these action figure characters involved with your life and, and try to defend you and back you up. You know what? You come into this world alone, you're going out alone. Stop trying to team up with people that are haters out there that are racist, brother. Be yourself. Be yourself, brother. Stop teaming up with, with, with jackasses out there, brother. I notice you try to team up with people and, uh, and, and give information to them and then blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean, Richard? Be a man for once in your life. I know it's pretty hard for a man that walks around the village looking for men with their pricks sticking out of their waistband. I don't know if I should call you a man, a sissy boy, a sidewalk sissy. What should I call you, Richard? Call me the man you're never going to see face to face, you or your two buddies, because you're punk bitches. you never confront me, you know why, Richard? Because there's two things keeping us from meeting, fear and common sense. Oh, how you use my words so well from last year's video game. Do you suck dicks that good as good as you bite? I guess he don't suck dick as good as he bites my lyrics. Oh, well. Hey, Birdman, you got to find a half a tough guy who's worse than Quaver and Shiva. That's the delivery boy who delivers to 35 Chestnut Lane in Levittown a couple of times a day. Yeah, that's a good one there. Hey, crazy Eddie, that AER gets to go. Hey, uh, Richard, what about sharing cigarette butts with homeless people in the McDonald parking lot? What's the story with that, brother? Do you have no shame? I don't know. It looked like uh, he worked at that McDonald's and so did Richie. I think the guy was wearing a red uniform shirt and a black uniform pants. How about that? I don't know. It didn't look like an employee to me. It looked like a, a local homeless cat. But anyway, you can say what you want, brother. I don't. Ex I wouldn't accept any any half or three quarters of the way smoke a cigarette butt from anyone. You have no shame, brother. I, I guess if you see a cigarette on the street that's uh, that got like a micro with a, a couple of millimeters uh, extended from the from the uh, filter, you would smoke it. Damn boy. Come on, brother. I'm trying to help you here. You're making me look bad, brother. I the cats out there. Don't kill this junkie, man. You know, I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to try to help him out. You know what I mean? Go
because I know the cats in the Low East Side, they want to rip your head off, brother. You get a lot of cats angry out here talking all that gaka, giving out names and addresses, brother. Yo, Richard, don't do it to yourself, brother. I know you're a CI. You've been a CI for the longest. I know you're on the payroll as a, as a confidential informant. I know that for a fact, brother. You got you know, you know the problem is, Richard, when you talk and when you're dealing with a person that's educated, that's a lot smarter than you. You, you are very intimidated that you stop. You st <laughs> stories, situations that never happened, that are not real, brother. You cannot make up stories about the enforcer. Crossing your forcer doesn't hurt anyone. The forcer is just trying to help people. I'm living proof. I'm trying to get you off the streets and get you off the pipe, brother. So don't resist help. Embrace my help, brother. The word is embrace. Just like when you're going to sit down one day with the enforcer, even if I got to knock you out. And I'm not... A Imagine that. I won't hold my breath waiting for that day to happen, this little punk bitch. Clean for 48 hours. You will not do enough. Nah, man, this cat's a punk, man. You can listen to him and tell he's a punk. I'll make sure when he he's actually a bigger punk than Birdman who bought him all that radio equipment to do this. You know, because this cat's a junkie. He don't work. Bird needed somebody he could spoon coke to to do this. You will like me because you know the enforcer's there to help you, brother. But you got to take the first step, Richard, to put down that pipe. Because my methods are crude. You know, I'm not going to go there and hold your hand and, oh, come on, Richard, do the right thing. Nah, the hell with that. You know, you get the enforcer. His patients are running thin with you, brother. You know, I'm holding the cat's back. I don't want to sit. Well, we know you're holding Birdman's back, but if your patient is running thin, dude, come be a man. Come do something about it. Beat the blood out. Come be the enforcer. Ha, 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 ha. Brother, you don't want to see those days, believe me. Oh, wow, look at this cop-out for a little pussy-wussy follower. You got that right, brother. Leopard don't change his spots. But you know what? I believe in I believe in tough love, and I believe in trying to help a junkie to get off the streets. Because let me tell you, if that was my family member, if Richard127 was my real brother, yeah, I'm talking about actual blood, he'll be clean as a sheet of white paper. He'll have a blank rap sheet, and he'll be joke drug free because I wouldn't allow it. I would beat the living blood out of that boy until he would confirm to rules, my rules and regulations. So, Richie, you're lucky I'm not your brother, flesh and blood, because I tell you one thing, you will learn the hard way. You will learn it the tough way, brother, because it seems like you weren't taught the right way growing up. Now I understand why you post videos dressed in a Santa Claus suit looking like a clown saying, fuck my family. Yo, let me tell you, brother, your family is number one in, in this world. Without family, you got nothing, brother. That's why you're a lonely little bird over there. You're a lonely little junkie, but you know what? I'm not putting you down. I'm just trying to help you, brother. Come clean, put the pipe down, and I will set you free. They call me the enforcer, truth and justice, the American way. Let me have my job. I'll be back. Good morning to 
telling you, uh, everyone out there, they call me the enforcer of truth and justice. And I'm just trying to, uh, just trying to help a local crackhead out there, a local junkie named Richie 127. I'm just trying to help a brother out there. I know you hear me out there almost every morning. And uh, you gotta understand, I'm just trying to help a human being out. I'm just a crusader out here, trying to get one lonely soul off the streets. You believe me, when I get them off the streets, your cars are safer, your homes are safer. Because a crackhead to do anything to get that high. It's a wicked lifestyle, brother. And I'm not putting them down, I'm not condemning them. I'm trying to get a local junkie off the street. I'm just a crusader out here, truth and justice, the enforcer. And I'm not quiet. Mr. Enforcer, my name is Richard Vincent Capuano. When you call yourself the punk bitch you are, make sure you tell him you're Michael J. Pierman, a.k.a. Snake Pliskin. That's Richard V. for Victory Capuano, as everybody who dealt with me with credit cards knows my government. And everything you say... It ain't attached to me, a little bitch. But hey, who better than the king of New York? Oh, that- 
that's not me. It was, uh, you know, it was uh, audio's been modified. I mean, come on. No one's that good to imitate his voice. He has one type of voice that you could never duplicate. But Richard, it's all out there, brother. You put your, your personal business out there, then you, uh, when they hit you with it, when they question it, they, uh, you claim it's not you, that it's a lie, that everyone's fabricating stories about you. Richard, you're in denial, brother. You make up a story, then you forget you did it. And then when they post your audio clips on you, you go, that's not me. That's not Richie. Come on, brother. Come clean, brother. You mean audio clips or partial sentences? Is that what you mean when you say audio clips?